Hi Church, my name is Dave Garb and at the start of the year I launched my own business called Thrive Fitness and Nutrition. Before I tell you that, I'll just give you a bit of background. So just over a year ago, I was made redundant after working for 20 years as a warehouse manager. Now, when I knew I was going to be made redundant, I knew straight away that I didn't want to spend the next 20 years working as a warehouse manager. So it made me think about what I would really like to do. Now, one of the things that I really like to do is run. So I did some training with England Athletics on being a running coach. And alongside that, did some study and became a qualified nutrition coach. And so out of that, Thrive Fitness has evolved. Um, so what is Thrive Fitness about? Um, it's about inspiring and assisting people to live healthier and fitter lives. So to eat better, to feel better and to perform better. And I do that through two main ways, which can sort of work separately or they could go hand in hand. Firstly, I provide healthier eating plans for individuals um, based on what their goals are and then work alongside that person to change lifestyle behaviours and habits that affect their eating. Um, so it's not about diets. Uh, we tend to find that diets don't necessarily need, lead to long lasting change. Um, whereas if we look to change uh, habits and behaviours that can lead to uh, long lasting change. And then secondly is the running. Um, so I work with runners of all abilities so that might be somebody new to running who wants to do couch to 5k, somebody preparing to run their first marathon, uh, somebody doing a crazy ultra run, or just maybe somebody just wanting to improve their, their running. Um, and I do that by providing personalised training plans based on, uh, on their goals. Injury um, advice, nutrition advice, one-to-one -one running sessions, running technique analysis uh, and ongoing support and guidance and so that's the the work of Thrive in a nutshell and um, that's the core of what I do um, there's plenty of other ideas I've got um, that uh, will be added at some point no doubt um, but I won't go into that right now. I suppose the biggest challenge for me um, has been my own health. Uh, as a, a really keen runner, right at the start of lockdown, I wasn't able to run. I had a uh, tibial stress fracture um, and doing crazy Joe Wicks moves around the, uh, the living room floor just uh, delayed the recovery process of that. So um, basically, as we went into lockdown, I had three months of not being able to run. Um, and then as the stress fractures healed, I've then had a problem with my knee um, and running was really uncomfortable. So there were points where I was, I was sort of thinking, will I be able to run again? Um, and I've set myself up in business to be a running coach. But like, what have I done? Um, so yeah, mentally that was there were that was there were tough times in that, um, but fortunately the, the 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 legs improved and the knee um, is improving. So I am back running, um, but it has been slow progress. Um, I suppose also uh, just one of the other challenges has been that because of lockdown, lots of the running well nearly all the running races got cancelled. London Marathon. Um, and so as one of my key potential key revenue streams being providing training plans for people that was wiped out. Um, so that could have been a good way um, to definitely establish the business and grow the business and, and grow the awareness of the business. And that was wiped out. Um, but long term, the running races will come back. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's that to look forward to. At the same time as I launched Fry Fitness, I also started some part-time work in a local running shop 
and that has just been a real blessing. It gives a little bit of financial stability, um, so I'm not relying solely on, on Fry Fitness to, to pay the bills. Also, I'm working in an environment where I'm just talking about running all day, uh, which is great. I also get some free running shoes, so it just complements what I'm doing in, in just such a great way. Um, there's also potential client base there. Uh, also, as we went into lockdown, we were furloughed on 100% pay. And so that enabled um, just to be able to use that time to concentrate on, on Thrive and getting the, the, the website content sorted, the social media up and running. Um, so it was a real blessing. Um, and it has been and, and, and still is. Like I say, it takes the pressure off what I'm doing so I can let Thrive sort of grow naturally and not have to sort of go out there and hard sell because that's that's not my style. So that's been a real, real blessing. I'm, I'm so thankful for that. Also, another encouragement has just been the, the, the first few clients I've had have just, it's just had great success. Uh, the, the first client that I did the, the, the um, nutrition coaching with had a weight loss goal and they smashed it and it just proved the teaching method worked so that was that was really really encouraging um so yeah it's it's happy days two things to pray for firstly um i'd ask you to pray for my knee um i have had a referral to get an mri scan to see uh, check if I've got early stage arthritis in my knee, um, which obviously wouldn't be great. Um, but as I've said, the the knee has been improving, and I'm I'm back running and being able to run a little bit further each week. Um, so that that is encouraging. But um, at the same time, I know my right knee doesn't feel as well as my left knee. Um, so yeah, please pray that it continues to get stronger um, and better, and um, yeah, and be great if there's no arthritis in there. So please pray for that. Um, and secondly, uh, just pray for um, that I'd have discernment. There's a lot of, I suppose, there's a lot of avenues uh, and opportunities that I could pursue and chase. Um, so I, I pray that I'd know which sort of doors to knock on, which roads to go down, and not just to pursue anything and everything um, that's, that, not, that isn't necessarily right. So yeah, wisdom and discernment in, in choosing what, is, what feels right um, to do. Thank you.